manipulation, upper mid-range narcissist. I'm going to provide you with an example of how the upper mid-range narcissist behaves. This example demonstrates the grandiosity, the haughty behaviours, the superiority or at least perceived superiority of the upper mid-ranger and exhibits in a particular the black and white thinking of the upper mid-range narcissist by showing you a direct assertion of control over an intimate partner secondary source who is being seduced and they are being seduced through flattery whilst the narcissist is also indirectly asserting control over the now devalued intimate partner primary source through triangulation and smearing. I will then also provide you an example of this upper mid-range narcissist where they are asserting control directly over the devalued intimate partner primary source through provocation, insult, projection and blame shifting. All of this is predicated on the narcissist's belief that he is always right and the devalued IPPS is so wrong. My ex, where do I begin? You know, I must admit, I have a propensity to always being right. I cannot help it. It's just the way I am. I work hard to get things right in my job, who my friends are, making the right decisions in my life, and, most of all, in respect of who I decide to spend my intimate days with. But I'll hold my hands up on this one. I got it wrong, spectacularly wrong. I'm normally an excellent judge of character. It's an uncanny knack I have. Call it a sixth sense, if you will. I can usually tell when I meet somebody for the first time whether I will actually get along with them. I can gauge whether we will become firm friends and enjoy one another's company. It happens with everyone, including you. What did my sixth sense tell me about you? Oh, that we have so much in common, and we are dis destined to be together. Don't ask me why, but I just knew it from the moment we met. There is just something about you. This sixth sense has never let me down before, but it did with her. I got that all wrong. She was just the wrong person for me. I must have let her charm me or something, because I just didn't see her for what she really was. She appeared so right, yet she was so wrong on so many levels. Don't worry, though. I know I have not made the same mistake with you. You are different. There is nothing wrong about you. Everything was good at first. I think she managed to pull the wool over my eyes and hide from me whatever it is that's wrong with her. I'm still not sure, but it wasn't long before it all went wrong. We had a good time at first. No, I'll be honest, we had a great time. I put a lot of effort into my relationships. I firmly believe that there should never be any half measures. If you want to be with someone, then you must give your all to them. There should be complete trust, and your heart should only ever be theirs. I did this, but it soon appeared that it wasn't enough. I don't know what I did wrong other than actually get into a relationship with her, but it all turned sour. I still don't know what I did wrong. Whereas once she was attentive and kind, I actually think it's all a ruse now when I look back, she then showed little interest in me and doing things together. She focused on her job, her home and her hobbies, almost as if I became an afterthought. When I tried to point this out to her, she would just go crazy. I mean full on Looney Tunes. It was scary the way she would just turn on me and point out all the things that I had done wrong. It made no sense, of course. I gave her everything. And yet, no matter what I did, it was always wrong. I just could not please her. There is something very wrong about her. I could go into detail, but you don't need to hear all about that. I think it's sufficient to say I made a huge mistake entering a relationship with her. I got it entirely wrong, but I've learned from that error, and it won't happen again. I know I've got it right this time. I was right about you. You are wrong. Everything about you is wrong. I knew from the start, but I thought I would give you a chance to prove me wrong. I wanted to help you. I saw something in you and thought that things would be all right 
despite the wrongness that surrounded you. Yet everything I did for you to make things right, you just threw back in my face, didn't you? You just had to make everything go wrong, didn't you? You would say the wrong thing at the wrong time in the wrong situation. You would make wrong decisions based on the wrong facts and choose the wrong option. You got with the wrong friends and you did the wrong things with them for our relationship. You showed the wrong tendencies and you committed so many wrongs. I must have forgotten as many as I have remembered them. You are inherently wrong. It runs right through you. You taint everything about you with your wrongness and most of all, you made our relationship go wrong. I did nothing wrong. I tried to make things right between us. I persevered and held on as best as I could, as the wrongs rained down on me. I wanted us to work together, but not only were you on the wrong page compared to me, you were reading from the wrong book. You gave me the wrong things. You made the wrong comments, and you did the wrong acts. You infected our relationship with your wrong views and attitude. Everything went wrong, and it was all down to you. Yet, you cannot even accept you are wrong, can you? You just kept asking me the wrong questions and giving me the wrong answers. I knew you had something wrong about you as soon as we met, but something inside persuaded me to give you a chance to make things right, that you just needed that opportunity, and you would grasp it and be thankful, that somehow you could crawl from that wrong place you inhabited, and that for the first time, suitably encouraged and supported, that you would start to do the right thing. I was so right about how very wrong you are. You wronged me, but you will now see that I am going to put things right, and I will do so in a way that ensures you will do no wrong ever again. Right? So there you have the comments made to the seduced IPSS, and then the comments made direct to the devalued intimate partner primary source. Let's go through them and analyse what's going on. Starting with the speech that is made by the upper mid-range narcissist to the intimate partner secretary source, shelf variety might even be candidate. My ex, where do I begin? Suggestion there's a whole host of problems. You know, I must admit I have a propensity to always being right. I cannot help it. Grandiosity. It's just the way I am. Grandiosity. I work hard to get things right, veneer of application, in my job, who my friends are, making the right decisions in my life, and most of all, in respect of who I choose to spend my intimate days with. Grandiosity, veneer. But I will hold my hands upon this one. I got it wrong. False admission being done to curry favour, i.e. to assert control over the listening IPSS, spectacularly wrong. False humility. I'm normally an excellent judge of character. Grandiosity. It's an uncanny knack I have. Grandiosity. Call it a sixth sense if you will. I can usually tell when I meet somebody for the first time whether I will get along with them. Grandiosity. I can gauge whether we will become firm friends and enjoy one's, uh, one another's company. Grandiosity. And magical thinking. It happens with everyone, including you. Flattery. What did my sixth sense tell me about you? Grandiosity. Magical thinking. Oh, that we have so much in common and we are destined to be together. Flattery. Don't ask me why, but I just knew it from the moment that we met. Magical thinking. Flattery. There is just something about you. Flattery. This sixth sense has never let me down before, but it did with her. Grandiosity. I got that all wrong. False admission. She was just the wrong person for me, but I must have let her charm me. Blame shifting. Or something, because I just didn't see her for what she really was. Blame shifting. She appeared so right, yet she was wrong on so many levels. Smearing. Don't worry, I know I've not made the same mistake with you. You are different. There's nothing wrong about you. Flattery. Everything was good at first. I think she managed to pull the wool over my eyes, blame shifting, and hide from me whatever it is that is wrong with her, blame shifting and projection. I am still not sure, but it wasn't long before it all went wrong. We had a good time at first. No, I'll be honest, we had a great time false honesty. I put a lot of effort into my relationships. I firmly believe that there should be no half measures. Grandiosity. If you want to be with someone, then you must give your all to them. Flattery. There should be complete trust, and your heart should only be, there, be theirs. Grandiosity. 
I did this, but it soon appeared that it was not enough. I don't know what I did wrong, other than actually get into a relationship with her, but it all turned sour. Blame shifting. I still don't know what I did wrong. Lack of admission of fault. Whereas she was once attentive and kind, I think it was all a ruse now, when I look back. She then showed little interest in me and doing things together. Projection. She focused on her job, her home and her hobbies, almost as if I became an afterthought. Pity play. When I tried to point this out to her, she would just go crazy. Blame shifting, smearing. I mean full on Looney Tunes, smearing. It was scary the way she would just turn on me and point out all the things that I had done wrong. Projection, smearing. It made no sense. I gave her everything, grandiosity, and yet no matter what I did, it was always wrong. Pity play. I just could not please her. Blame shifting. There is something very wrong with her. Smearing. I could go into detail, but you don't need to hear all about that. Vagueness. I think it's sufficient to say, I made a huge mistake, false admission, entering a relationship with her. I got it entirely wrong, but I have learned from that error and it will not happen again. Magical thinking. I know I have got it right this time. Infatuation. We then, having concluded that short monologue to the being seduced intimate partner secondary source, we then see the hypocrisy and compartmentalization alongside the black and white thinking of the upper mid range narcissist when maybe minutes later or later that day, he then engages with the current IPPS, perhaps returning home from his tryst with the intimate partner secondary source, and he then asserts control over the current IPPS by insulting her, provoking her, projecting and using blame shifting. I was right about you. Grandiosity. Note the hypocrisy with what he's been saying to the IPSS and how the contradictory nature. You are wrong. Everything about you is wrong. Insult. Provocation. I knew from the start. Grandiosity. Contradiction. But I thought I would give you a chance to prove me wrong. Grandiosity. False magnanimity. I wanted to help you. False magnanimity. I saw something in you and thought that things would be all right despite the wrongness that surrounded you. Yet everything I did to make things right, grandiosity, you just threw back in my face, didn't you? Blame shifting, provocation. You just had to make everything go wrong, didn't you? Provocation. You would say the wrong thing at the wrong time in the wrong situation. Provocation. You would make wrong decisions based on the wrong facts and choose the wrong option. Provocation. You got with the wrong friends and did the wrong things with them for our relationship. Provocation. You showed the wrong tendencies and you committed so many wrongs. I must have forgotten as many as I have remembered them. Provocation. You are inherently wrong. It runs right through you. Provocation. You taint everything about you with your wrongness. And most of all, you made our relationship go wrong. Provocation. Insult. I did nothing wrong. Blame shifting. Lack of accountability. I tried to make things right between us. Lie. Revision of history. I persevered and held on as best as I could as the wrongs rained down on me. Revision of history. Blame shifting. I wanted us to work together, but not only were you on the wrong page compared to me, you were reading from the wrong book. Provocation. Insult. You gave me the wrong things, made the wrong comments, and did the wrong acts. Provocation. You infected our relationship with your wrong views and attitudes. Provocation. Insult. Everything went wrong and it was all down to you. Blame shifting. Yet you cannot even accept you are wrong, can you? Projection. Insult. You kept asking me the wrong questions and giving me the wrong answers. Insult. I knew you had something wrong about you as soon as we met. Contradiction. Provocation. But something inside me persuaded me to give you a chance to make things right. False magnanimity. That you just needed that opportunity and you would grasp it to be thankful that someone you could crawl from that wrong place you inhabited and for the first time suitably encouraged and supported that you would start to do the right thing. Grandiosity. Insult. Provocation. Contradictory nature. I was so right about how very wrong you are. Grandiosity, contradictory nature, insult. You wronged me, but you will see now that I am going to put things right, and I will do so in a way that ensures you will do no wrong ever again. Revision of history, provocation, insult, threat. Right? And there you have the analysis of the upper mid-range narcissist exhibiting a lot of grandiosity, haughtiness, a little bit of pity play thrown in there. After all, the individual is mid-range, some magical thinking, Provocation towards the current IPPS, and it shows the compartmentalization. When he's speaking to the IPSS, 
it's oh I got it wrong but he doesn't actually have, doesn't actually genuinely see that because if he did why would he then go and accuse the IPPS later on of essentially conning him that's the compartmentalization in the moment as he's asserting control over the IPSS he will talk about how he was taken in and that he didn't realize and that she pulled the wool over his eyes and feels slightly sorry for me but normally I get these things right because I'm brilliant then when he asserts control in a different compartment over the current IPPS it's all about I knew you were a wrong one from the start you didn't fool me completely contradicting what he said earlier but he won't see that because his narcissism compartmentalizes and blinds him to that so this is a very useful example of how an upper mid-ranger behaves with regard to two appliances and a multitude of various manipulations i'm hg tudor thank you for listening